everybody, it's uh, Pete the Monkey Thrifter here, yes again with a, another little short video. Um, I've been to a couple of charity shops this week and also the Bradford Bulls at Cabo. I didn't bother filming the Bulls because the weather was getting windy, it was going to rain, I thought it might be called off. And of course it's that time of year, although it will be going all year round more or less. There weren't as many stall holders as there was say a month or so ago. But anyway, I will go back and do some filming on there shortly. But let's just start with the what I've got there from the bull, shall we? In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do any particular other. So this is a mixture of what I've got at the bulls and what I've got at the charity shop. Right, so firstly is this. Um, it is a Samsung. It's a Blu-ray. It's a 3D player. And... I've tested it in the fact of putting a blue rain and it accepts it and the counter goes on. I haven't tried it actually on looking on a TV, but I will do when I get to the office. That was two pounds, so hopefully getting round about the uh, 30 pound mark on that one. The next one is a Sony. This is just a Blu ray player, and that also was two pounds. And Hoping to get sort of 25 mark around that. Now the thing is, these two didn't come with remotes. Now I've looked on eBay. Yeah, you can get remotes for about six, seven pound area. But looking at completes with a remote, there's not much difference in price. But does that help to sell it? What would you do? Put a comment down below whether you'd say, yeah, just buy a remote and you'll get around about the same profit. However, it'll sell quicker. I don't know. It's just a thought. And then um, Charity Shop. It's a Furby plush. But it's a backpack. So it's got a little zip at the back. Put stuff in. Can't put much in. But there. Uh, and um, I think that was a pound. I've got two things. I'll show you the next one. It came at three pound. And... I can't find any exact completes, but I want to aim for around about, believe it or not, about 20 quid on that. And then, I've had this before. Solo. <laughs> Sorry, it's smash a... It to start. Bop it, smash it. The don't go for it. I said that was two quid. And I'm be lucky to get round about this at the ten pound mark on them. They don't do smash very well. Start. Not like the other bop it's. You got a sleep, that'll be okay. Right, next was uh, another charity shop and it's a Nikon Cool Picks 2100. Now, I sold this before just as a camera on its own. I think I got around about £15 for it, but this has got everything in it. So it's got the manuals, it's got the um, memory card, which is not like a normal SD card. It's got the charge, it's got two sets of uh, rechargeable batteries, it's got the cables, of course it's got the camera. And that was £4, so I thought, yeah, £4. And hopefully, getting around about the £35, £40 mark on that, even though it's an old, old camera. Um, the next one is all these. And this is quite good. It's hatching holes. It's a tree house. It's got a little handle here that you, you sort of turn around. And it's got like a, a shower thing there and a swing. And this thing opens up at the top there. It's like a rose that opens up. And you can put one of the little figures inside. And wind it back down again. And it came with, I'm a bit wrong there. <laughs> it came with, sorry, I can, it came with just five hatching holes there. But it was two pound fifty. There was no price on it. So the lady says, "How much uh, is this? Is no price on it?" We had to look around, couldn't find which is oh two pound fifty. I thought, "Yep, I'll have that." And yeah, hopefully with that and the f just a few hatchments, she get round about the twenty five pound mark. There's one there, and that's just the treehouse itself. This has got a few of them with it, so I'm going to hit around about twenty five. Um, then we've got this. Uh, it's another charity shop that I went into and it's an SCS fabric care kit it was 195 
Uh, it's brand new and sealed. I will open it to get a bit more, but looking, the grain for roundabout is quite heavy as well. I think it doesn't go with 2k. If not, I could keep it, but we're looking at round about the 10. We're trying about like £12, including postage on that. So there might be about £5 profit in it, I don't know. And then I've got I won't get them all out, but I've got five of these, uh, the glass uh, cups, mugs, we don't call them with the plastic things. Now, a lot of people say, oh, Pyrex, but there's nothing on it to say Pyrex at all. So they're similar to Pyrex, but not Pyrex. And I've seen something like this. I'm going to aim for around about £15 of that. I can't find any completes on it. Uh, the next one thing that I've got, which I don't know, uh, and this is this from the car boot. Oh, the glasses from the car boot as well. Uh, it's remote controlled to Grand Prix racing cars. The box is really battered, but inside, I think it's all still got is intact. I'm not gonna have I'll move that, but I'll check it. It looks to be all intact. All the uh, wiring is all clipped together and everything else. I can't find any exact complaints. It does say there's a price label on there. And it's saying that. And it says $69.95. Now, obviously, that depends on how old it is and when it was done. And I don't know if anybody knows anything about that as well. If you don't mind leaving a comment on that. So, yeah, so that's the few things that I've got from the charity shop and car boot this week. Now, also at the car boot, um, I'm going to hold it in a few weeks' time. But, so I'm looking for, I'm looking at a case anyway. I went to the charity shop and look at this. It's an antler, which is a very, very good quality case. I'm looking at any case to go for the quality. And it is in pretty good condition. Really, I won't open it up. It's got lining inside and straps and everything else. Absolutely beautiful zips and everything. Really good quality uh, case set. And that was five pound. It's probably been used that once or twice, that's all. But also, at the car boot, I'm looking around and saw so this. It's an antler, same colour scheme, flight case. Got nice little zips on it, pockets. It is a bit mucky inside and it is a bit of a clean, but it's in good condition and that was a pound. So I've got a set of matching luggage, suitcase and hand luggage for six quid. It's uh antler, so quite happy about that indeed. Right, I think that's about it. Next, uh, today's the 20, sorry, today is the 8th of October. It's a Saturday. Next Saturday, the 15th, there's a eBay resellers meetup over in Manchester. The price of the hotels were very expensive. I thought, well, I'm only going to go for a few hours. So I'm getting the train over. So I'll do a video of that. I've still got to do the editing for the Blackpool meetup with um, Lee, Fix It For Reselling, and... James GRE selling and I went to Fleetwood so I've still got to edit that and I'll just start bringing out some content this week so I'll get that done as soon as I can so don't forget please the subscription I'm on 930 so I'm 70 off the thousand pound one it would be great great if you watch these and you don't subscribe it's completely free please hit that like button hit that subscribe and hit that notification bell so next time I upload a video you'll be notified so from me, Pete, the Monkey Thief there, thanks ever so much for watching. Really much appreciated. And until next time, bye.